hi everyone hope you're all doing well welcome back to our channel in this video i'm going to get started with onboarding microsoft entra id logs to microsoft sentinel now since we know the purpose of data connector how exactly different components of data connectors is available on the sentinel console itself let's get started with the very first appropriate data connector source which is azure active directory or microsoft entra id now the fundamental idea of integration between Microsoft Entra ID and Microsoft Sentinel is to make sure all the logs which are generated by Microsoft Entra ID should get ingested to Microsoft Sentinel. Now, let me explain you how exactly this data flow will happen. So the very first thing that I have to show you is the actual log. As of now, I'm signed in to Azure AD and uh, portal.azure.com precisely speaking and I have navigated to my Microsoft Antra ID and if I click on the sign in logs I'm getting the list of all the logs which are available and these are all different categories of logs let's say interactive non-interactive service principal sign-ins and managed identity sign-ins right and all these logs should get ingested to my log analytics workspace which we have used to set up sentinel and then once all the logs are available we can perform the deep analytics so let me firstly go to the instance which we have just set up in our last videos and let me go to logs and then here let me quickly open the table where all the logs will be ingested and which is this one so let's say if i say sign in logs for last 24 hours it is showing me absolutely nothing now the end result will be the moment we are done with the configuration we will start getting results over here okay that's the expected outcome perfect so let's begin now with the integration so now again i'll go back to my sentinel instance and now i click on data connectors because in my last video i have already onboarded microsoft entra id connector so as you can see, it is getting listed over here. However, it is as of now not connected. So I can see five connectors, but connected is showing zero. So I'll click on this one and then I will click on open connector page. Now recall the aspects which I was talking about connectors itself that once you open a connector, it will show you the configuration which is required. The very first one is related to your subscription itself. That means what all permission you need to set up a specific setting on your subscription itself right the second one is the tenant source permission or let's say the data source permission in this case since we are talking about azure ad so it is showing me that your account has global admin or security admin permission so that you can go ahead and set up this integration now let's say if you don't have global admin or security admin in your azure active directory then you will not be able to perform this integration. Now, this section, if you see over here, it shows me multiple different categories of logs that I want to capture. And if you closely look, these names resonates with the tables which are actually generated in your Sentinel instance. So for this particular demo, what I'll do is I'll select all of these tables and then I will click on apply changes. Now, before I click on apply changes, again, let me go back to my logs section. And here in this particular tab, I'm again going to say sign in logs. Okay, it's not showing. Let me just refresh this once again. So I'll run sign in logs and absolutely, I mean, it's a fact that we will not get any result. But then once we perform the integration, let's say, We'll wait for some time and then we'll see whether we are getting any results or not. Okay. So here I'm just going to click on apply changes. Now, as of now, what is happening? The integration for having data ingestion in place is being performed. And all these logs now will be queried from my Microsoft Entra ID and they will get ingested to this particular table. Now, when I say all the logs, it doesn't mean that every log that that is getting listed over here will be available in this particular table, depending upon the mapping. OK, there is a very important aspect, which is again related to mapping itself. This is something which I will cover when I'll talk about 
Microsoft Defender XDR. However, for this particular demo, just understand all the sign-in logs, precisely speaking, which exist in my Microsoft Entra ID will be available here itself. Now, since we have just performed the integration, let's wait for a couple of minutes. I'll pause the video and I'll resume the moment I'll see the data. Okay. Perfect. So it took around 20 minutes uh, for all the data ingestion to happen, which is moreover related to Azure AD itself. And now, as you can see, I'm inside my workspace. I'm inside the log section and I'm trying to query the sign in logs table and I'm getting all the logs ingested, which are basically the logs of Microsoft Entra ID. Now, similarly, I can go ahead and type any other table name as well. Let's say AAD non-interactive sign in logs and if I'll click on run, you can see. I'm getting this data. Moreover, there is one more connector which I want you guys to set up and that is Microsoft Entra Identity Protection. Let's say if you have uh, this license available, you can just search for Microsoft Entra Identity Protection. And as you can see, if you integrate this, you will start getting Azure AD Identity Protection logs as well into your Sentinel console. So these are two different connectors that you might need to set up if you want to ingest Microsoft Entra ID logs. And if I talk about this particular data connector, once it queries all the data, it is actually going to push that data to security alert table of your Sentinel instance. Likewise, we were getting a list of different uh, tables which are required for Microsoft Entra ID. Let's say if I click on manage, it'll, it was showing me a list of different tables which will be used uh, for data ingestion. Similarly, for Microsoft Entra Identity Protection, I will get the option of uh, security alert. Let me go back there again. It was showing me the older connector. Just give me a minute. Yeah, so let's say if I go to Microsoft Entra ID again, and now let's just wait for the connector to get populated. Yeah, so you can see. Now it is showing me all the different tables getting highlighted over here and when was the last time the data was received. Okay, so this was all about knowing how to integrate Microsoft Entra ID logs to Microsoft Sentinel. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how to connect Microsoft Defender logs to Microsoft Sentinel. Now, if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.